Hi everyone, my name is Jenny. Welcome to my vlog. Today I have a really, really old vlog for you guys, but I'm super sorry. I've been crazy busy with school and then I also have work and then my job is like shifting. I'm like in the middle. Ow, what the hell? This really hurts. I'm in the middle of like changing jobs. So I'm really excited for like this new chapter in my life, but I'm also super nervous and I'll talk more about that in probably a future vlog. I first wanted to thank Sutera for sponsoring a portion of this video. Sutera is probably my favorite, favorite pillow that I have on my bed. I actually featured them not too long ago. I will leave a little clip here on the side so you guys can see the other pillow that I have. And that one I actually really, really love because it contours to my neck and I'm able to sleep on the side. It's really great for like side sleepers or back sleepers, but I actually have this lavender Zen pillow and this one actually has micro ventilation, which is really great. And it smells like lavender, which is going to help you sleep better. And I do find that it is very relaxing because of the scent. This one really does contour to your head and to like the shape of your body and it also allows air to flow evenly and it doesn't make you hot or anything so i really love that about this one and i'm not going to open it because if you guys have trypophobia like with little little circles then um you will be a little triggered because you can see like the little circles in it, the pillow but it is like a memory foam but it feels really really nice and i've had this pillow for about uh, i want to say three weeks already and the scent of the lavender has not gone away um I still find that it's very, very strong, but not too strong to where it's overwhelming. The pillow is actually really great for side, back, and stomach sleepers, and it also allows for temperature regulation because of the airflow in the pillow. And sometimes I find that I really want a really cold pillow, and if a pillow is too warm, then I get really uncomfortable because then I'll get sweaty. And I think they said that I think 90% of people sweat when they're sleeping. So I think it's really important to have something that will allow you to cool down as well. You guys can already see I've had my hand like this and it already like, it really stays put. Some memory foam pillows, I find they kind of bounce back to your body. Like it doesn't allow your body to comfortably form into the pillow, but this one actually does and I really like it. And yeah, it smells really good. It's really nice. You can actually remove this casing and wash it in the washer on cold, or you can also apply apply you can also put your own pillowcase on it and i do put my own but i wanted to show you guys just because the brand is here so i believe i did tell you guys before that i do have scoliosis so memory foam pillows are definitely what i prefer i do have other pillows on my bed but those i mainly use for just if i have to sit up or if i just want more cushion but for actual sleeping sleeping when i get into a deep sleep i really need my memory foam pillows and i only use the ones that i have from satara i also have another one that was sent to me but i didn't really talk about it because i don't recommend it but satara pillows are definitely my favorite i haven't talked to you guys about them in a while but i do use it every single day and i just really love it but i just have to find a really great pillowcase for the other one i think i need a king pillowcase because i only have standard and the pillow is a little bit wider so yeah, that's the only thing. But anyway, I really hope that you guys check this one out. This one is again called Lavender Zen because it is infused with lavender essential oils, but it's all safe for pets and everything. Um, I did talk to the vet about Luna and whether or not this was safe for her. And they said that it was okay because it's not, it's not on initial contact. She doesn't sleep at the head of my bed anyway. So it's really good that, I, that I'm still able to use this pillow. So anyway, I will have a link down below and then I'll also have a code on the screen. Also, it will be listed down below just in case you guys are interested in the description bar and thank you guys once again Tara for sponsoring a portion of this video anyway without further ado let's go ahead and get started with the vlog <laughs> oh where's the light i need to start cooking right now i'm like super hungry right now okay so i just got these flowers in today they are so gorgeous and I just like, I told him not to send them. <laughs> They're super pretty. I took a few photos with them. I think I got a good one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put them in this vase. And I actually had to take out the tulips because obviously they weren't gonna fit in here. Um, and the tulips were kind of already dying. I just put a little bit of sugar in there already. So I'm gonna go ahead and see that. I really doubt this will fit in there, but I don't know. It's just so much. Like, <laughs> what am I supposed to do with all of this? I don't even have like another little vase to put it in. Oh, this is like too many. I like I literally don't know. I think like one a week is fine for me. <laughs> but I mean, am I complaining? Yes, I am actually because I have no space for it. Here are my orchids. They're in the sun and it's, the sun's a little bit too. Oh, these these died. <laughs> I can already see that they died. 
I'll just wait for that one to come back. I'm still gonna save them like for the next time they bloom. I didn't realize the sun was so strong over here. Dude, like they need to be like in indirect sunlight, but then I'm like, where do I have indirect sunlight? Like, I don't know, everywhere is direct sunlight. I'm gonna put it here. Oh, <laughs> so sad. And then these are already dead. I should take this out. Let me try to figure this out really quick. This is a little complicated. Yeah, and I had to put it in my pot because I literally couldn't fit it anywhere else. Like this company is just like super, super cute. They're like a family owner. I already told you guys that yesterday. Uh, was it like the day before yesterday? I don't know. I haven't vlogged in a while, you guys. I'm a little rusty, a little rusty dusty. So I, um, I was talking on the phone and I think I have my photos booked to um, take photos for my new year. I really wanted to do them like super, super soon. And I'm stupid, like I should have done them a while ago, but I just kept procrastinating like a dummy that I am. <laughs> I don't know why I just took forever, but that was kind of annoying. I shouldn't have. I don't like the filler that they use for this, honestly, because it's like not my vibe. This is like a bouquet, like a wedding bouquet, it looks like, like a summer wedding one. Yeah, I think it'll fit if I just take all the filler out. No, don't break on me. Don't break on me. The flower itself is so beautiful. I'm not a pink person, though. No. I'm not really a pink person. I don't really like pink that much. <laughs> I say that as I have... How many purses do I have with pink on them? Not quite sure. Oh my god, can you come out? Um, how is this all gonna fit in here? Can it? Oh my god, I think it can. I think it can, I think it can. Oh my god, go down. Go in! Go in. Okay, you got it. Slow and steady, slow and steady. Oh, wait, why are you sticking out? What is this? Look. Rose? It's a rose. Damn it. Stick it out. Stick it out. Oh, yay! It fit. Thank God. I really did not want to get another one. Yay, y'all. Look at that. How beautiful. Oh my God, this is so pretty. Super, super pretty. Some of them are a little twisted, which I'm kind of worried about because I don't want it to like snap off, but just how it is and I'm not that creative enough to try and do the arrangement over again but I'm so I'm actually just so happy that it fit in here because I was a little worried I was just a bit worried why am I talking like that oh you guys living by yourself is like damn like really gotta improvise okay especially see right now I'm filming so like I feel like I'm talking to you guys but Girl, if you, if you don't have a vlog, people are gonna think you're crazy. I hope these last until at least next week. That would be ideal for me next week. Oh, how beautiful. So pretty. Oh, I just like, need like time to myself. Like I feel like I'm, I've been at like everyone's becking call this week, especially for work. <sighs> just so tired. So tired of it. I'm gonna cook dinner and then I'm actually going to. I need to take the trash out. All of the trash. <laughs> I have like boxes behind the wall over there. But anyway, look at how beautiful this is. One of the flowers in this one is already like 30 dead. Which I'm like, I didn't do that, did I? <laughs> I guess I did. It's kind of annoying. Okay. Dude, wh when I was younger, like we, they used to do the Khmer dance at, like for my new year at my elementary school. Oh my God. And um, they would put like carnations in the hair. And ever since then I've like loved carnations because it just re reminds me of when I was never able to do the Khmer dance because my teacher was not Khmer. <laughs> Oh, so sad. Honestly, what if sugar is with me? <laughs> Killing my, my flowers. 
I don't think so, but... Dude, I'm so hungry. For breakfast, my friend came over. I want to say, I always want to say my roommate, but she's not my roommate, obviously. I have no rooms in here. Um, but she lives in my building, and I met her when she first moved in, so it was pretty funny. But um, she came over, and I cooked us breakfast, and we went to the gym this morning as well, being good girls and working out. I can't wait to work up tomorrow. Uh, uh, uh. This is the steak, and I have seen people like season this all kinds of ways. Mm. Cut it in like strips. Add a little bit of garlic powder, some onion powder, and some black pepper. I feel like that was not enough. I'm gonna add a little bit of one of them. I'm not gonna add the whole thing. And then I'm gonna put the rest in a Ziploc bag. Actually, I really like onion, so I'll use half of it. So this is what it looks like. Wow, it looks so delicious. I feel like I could have added like more greens to it, but I don't know. <laughs> mm. Well, the bell peppers are so good. Mm. Wow. Perfectly seasoned. It's good. I like it. I do usually like to have um, I don't know rice or something with it but I really am trying like not to eat carbs like for real. Good.